Hey guys, this is the Furry B X215 Pro. Inside the box, there's three sets of propellers. These are 5048s, and they're not the same design as the one shown on the box. It comes with a TPU injection molded uh, GoPro session holder, a Pagoda antenna, a carbon fiber battery protector, and a Velcro with a metal strap, and the mini quad. I got the Bind and Fly version, which comes with a FreeSky XM Plus receiver. The carbon frame is a stretched X design with an aluminum egg to house all the electronics. The replaceable arms are 4mm thick and have extra carbon on the ends to protect the motors. The 5mm thick aluminum egg looks like it'll do a good job protecting the electronics and offer good camera protection. It also has a slot on top to pass a strap through to hold down the HD camera. It comes with these unbranded 2206-2600 kV motors. I like that there's a set screw here that'll allow you to remove the bell. The motors are powered by a 30 amp 401 ESC that runs BL Heli S and supports up to D-Shot 600. And it also has a built-in current sensor. The flight controller is a customized version of the Holy Bro Kakute F4 version 1.4. It features a separated gyro that is soft mounted onto a piece of foam and it also has built-in Betaflight OSD. It's running Betaflight version 3.2.2 and has D-Shot 600 anti-gravity and dynamic filtering turned on. It also has custom PIDs and rates that are already set. I'll have a CLI dump in the description. The generic 40 channel 5.8 GHz video transmitter is a stack mounted unit. It has a LED right here and a button right here to change channel band and power. To change the channel, press the button slowly. To change the band, double tap the button and the band letters will be displayed. Then tap slowly afterwards to change the letter. After a few seconds, it will go back to displaying the channel and band. To change the power output, triple tap the button and the power level displayed. O for off, H for 300 milliwatts, and L for 25 milliwatts. The camera has a Sony CCD sensor with a 2.5 millimeter GoPro size lens. It also has a joystick on the back for changing the setting on the camera. The video from the camera is really good, which I'll show you later in the video. The FreeSky XM Plus receiver is just held down by some foam tape, but because it's so light, I don't think it's gonna fall out. In the back is a buzzer and a programmable LED, zip tied to the frame. I did some modifications before my first flight. The camera might hit the flight controller in the event of a crash. So I raised this position. This prevents the camera from going full horizontal. I also zip tied all the motor wires to the arms and secured the battery wire to the arm for some strain relief. I added two layers of rubber battery pad to prevent slipping and the bolts from denting the battery. I also replaced the battery strap because the original didn't have very strong Velcro. The all up weight without the battery is 342 grams. Now let's get to the flight footage.
Flight performance was good. It has plenty of power and the FPV camera is amazing. There are some settings that would change in beta play, such as enabling air mode and changing the OSD settings. This is my first Bind and Fly Mini Quad, and I'm very impressed with the quality and performance. For 150 US dollars, you simply can't go wrong. Add a few batteries, a charger, some extra props, FPV goggles, and a transmitter, and you can go enjoy this wonderful hobby of FPV. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.